A glorious day in the Rocky Mountains. Peter Barton Lacrosse staying in the scene today as the Townsend Tigers come roaring in to take on the 18th ranked Denver Pioneers. It's time to take a look at our starting goalies presented by Safeway. And Evan Long gonna get the start once again without Shane Brennan out there. So Long in goal for the Tigers. Long, I know that they've been wanting to find some more consistent goalkeeping through this Towson team, which has kind of been a consistent theme for this Towson Tiger team. We'll keep going on as being consistent. Jack Thompson in goal for the Pioneers, the junior from Castle Rock, Colorado. And Jack, another terrific performer for DU and coming off a great performance against Ohio State. Jack Thompson played a phenomenal second half last week against Ohio State. I think that he had two or three huge saves that really got the momentum back to this team, was able to then get this team to get over that hump to get one of those top 10 wins. Can we ride the momentum wave? Not only the momentum from last week's game of carrying it over to today against Ohio State, but also ride the momentum wave after you get a big goal or a big play. Can we add to that? Can we take that another step forward and keep now building looming that? Next week in Big East Conference play starting as long able to make that stop, goes up high to make the save, his first of the game. And this has been something that's just been needed from this DU offense is some supplemental scoring. Who's going to be the guys other than a J.J. Stillstrap, a Teddy Sullivan? Scoreboard right now. Adam Hanglin's going to go in. He's going to fire. And Long able to go down and get a piece of it with his body. So far, Long has been the difference in this one. So far, he's stepped up when they need him to so far. That was Jordan Hayes firing that one, racing all the way down the line. He was able to stop it, but the officials. As we see the replay, the officials calling a loose ball push on Malik Sparrow. I'm that going red to flag would have been out of my pocket before they even finished the call. Thompson with a save on a behind the back shot. And quickly going the other way is the Pioneers. Simmons firing. Now Sullivan, and again, Long is there. Silstrop's going to take his turn. That one got blocked, didn't make it on goal. Sullivan again, and Long makes another stop. Unbelievable. Evan Long playing out of his mind back there. That Towson sideline deserves to be going crazy after that. Three on the doorstep saves for Long. That is huge saves right there. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Make sure you get a stop here. Berkeley and a save by Thompson. It's loose in front. Pioneers trying to come up with it. Now Curtis going to his right. And a big shot. Another stop. That was Richie Connell, a transfer, who had a huge game in Columbus against Ohio State last week with four goals for the Pioneers. He just came into the game, had an opportunity to rip one, but long again, eight saves now to the far side, to Hannah. And right in front, and it somehow did not go in. Silstrop on the doorstep, leading scorer for the Pioneers. That's at least four stops now, just right on the top of the crease of long. That actual one actually looks like it got the little bit of a pipe, but still counts as a save for long in the back of the net up and they make a play. Tigers with another chance and Thompson up to the challenge there. Thus far Evan Long goalie for the Tigers the story. Nine saves in one quarter. Not only nine saves on the old cliche saying that not all saves are made the same but those three saves all on top of each other right on top of the goal. Ever since that moment, it was a 2-1 game ever since that, and now Towson's going on a three-goal run using that momentum. So let's see if DU were able to take kind of a deep breath at the end of the quarter there, and let's get things going, start on the right track in this quarter. Like you said for the Pioneers, they just, just need to break the ice here after they got one early on. Hannah firing and long again with the stop. Cool sight against the Blue Devils last week. A lot of room that time, put it off the pipe. Coach Nodlin, of course, was an assistant, as you mentioned, under head coach Bill Tierney at Princeton for three years. And two coaches that just have so much respect for each other as Thompson makes a very timely save there. Here's a man-up situation right now. 
30-second penalty on the Tigers. Curtis. Uh, I want to say it's just bad luck. Thompson with the save. Yeah, between the nines. Gwinnell, McConnell with room, the big lefty put it right in to Long. One thing that Coach Nyland told us is just the high IQ that Schilling has. Wilson firing along with another stop, the denial. We'll start with it here on the near side. Limited time puts it right on goal and Long able to come up with that one. Fires it all the way down, 30 minutes in the books. It changes up their mentality defensively more. Before in that first half, they were okay giving Towson the ball behind the goal, kind of like their hands free. Hannah looking for an opening and Long with the denial. Yeah, Long on that one, just read that shot all the way. A lot of times if you want to throw that kind of shot on goal, you want to get the goalie moving from right to left off of a pass movement. So that kind of dodge when you're kind of coming across the middle and carrying the ball, it's just really easy for a goalie to read. And Towson. Avanzato scored in the first half. Thompson reading that one all the way. And a tough shot from Avanzato. Morocco to Silstrop and Long stopped it. Pioneers will have it. That is a steal. That is an absolute steal of a save right there going from post to post of uh, J.J. Silstrop, Denver's leading scorer. Able to get all the way across and able to get something on it. I don't know if that hit his helmet. I don't know if that hit the stick. But he doesn't care. He got enough on it to keep the ball from going in the back of the net. Some of the saves that Long has made today have been remarkable. The sensational variety. About the game clock. Sullivan, the extra pass. Connell going low, and Long got down there to make the stop. Bars is going to fire that shot, and Thompson got a piece of it. For the next four years. Sam Dwinell that time was stopped by Long. Lampert firing, but Long again makes the save. Again, I would love to see. Had too much in the second half. Thompson was terrific in goal as he fires it all the way down. Final seconds come off the clock as the crowd comes to their feet here. Pioneers victorious, two in a row for the Crimson and Gold. They win it 12-9. Come